Hey folks, TechNubris here, and today we are talking about the GTEC Alcade Resin Printer. Now this is a amazing budget machine. We're going to go over some of the things that I printed. I apologize in advance, I have a little bit of a head cold, but it's nothing I can't handle. So before we get too far into this video, make sure you reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button and give that notification bell a good first layer squish so you can be notified every time we post a new video. And that being said, we're going to jump right into taking a look at this beast. I usually prefer to start printing with a model that comes on the memory stick provided by any given printer. Generally they have something pretty dialed in for their settings and one of the models I chose off of this USB stick was this amazing dragon character here. Now this model was labeled as dragon although I'm pretty sure it's Shenron from Dragon Ball Z and it would make an awesome tattoo. However now that I printed the object the object needs to be cured, so in order to do that I obtained a unit from a friend of mine. It is the matching light curing box from GTEC, and they look really, really sweet together. So uh, it's not the dragon in the curing box right now, that's actually one of the Christmas ornaments we'll be going over in just a minute. But you can see the final cured dragon down in the left, and I will show you a close up of a lot of the stuff that I printed when we wrap up the video. For now though, let's jump over and talk about some of the specs of this machine and see what you're getting. As I said at the top of the video, this is the GTEC Alcade. Alcade, if you don't know, is the uh, leftmost star in the Big Dipper, and that's why you can see the constellation noted by the blue star on the front of the machine. I didn't know that before, I thought it was a pretty cool little piece of trivia. But uh, as far as specs go on this machine, it is an LCD machine and it has a print volume of 82 by 130 by 190 so pretty standard on the width and depth but the height is actually a little bit taller than my other machines so I really enjoyed that. The XY resolution is 0 .051 millimeters and the size of the LCD is 6.8 inches. With that you get an LCD resolution of 2560 by 1620 so that's 2K um, Z-axis precision is down to the thousandth, no the ten hundredth, anyways it's uh, .001 and your layer thickness you're looking at anywhere from .01 to .2 so it uh, can do pretty decently thick layers. I haven't cranked anything out super fast yet with it because I was going more for quality and these machines already print a lot faster than an FDM machine because it's doing a whole layer in a couple of seconds and speaking of which I do want to mention that you can see on the left of the screen here that GTEC did send or the right of the screen excuse me uh, that GTEC did send me some water washable resin I did try both of those the dragon is printed in a beautiful green that they sent and they sent me some white as well I had some IPA cured resin sitting around and that is what you're seeing in the curing box right now that red filament or not filament <laughs> whoops no that red uh, plastic so that is a different brand and I don't feel the need to say the name it came out okay but it, honestly the GTEC resin in the GTEC printer was really 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 amazing I was happy with the quality of everything that I printed and we'll show you some of those models so let's check it out get some hooks on these and I'm pretty happy with how these turned out now the white one's a little bit harder to see because it is a white tree but I placed six ornaments around this tree printed on the GTEC Alcade in three different colors. As I said, two of those resins were washable and one was an IPA rinse and all of them came out really, really splendid actually. This is the model that I'm calling Shenron that's labeled as the dragon. As you can see, everything came out almost flawlessly. The teeth are really tiny, they come to a point, they're kind of sharp his little claws on his fingernails, it doesn't want to focus there, but down to the scales and everything. Now, they had this cut at a little bit higher resolution than I cut my Christmas models at, and up close you can see a little bit of layering in some parts, but be really easy to clean up and deal with, and even on camera, I mean, it looks almost flawless, I can't see anything wrong with this, it's, it's beautiful. All in all guys, I gotta say this machine is a buy. It's a really, really super machine. I like the clean look. I haven't really had any problems with either the FEP or the plate. Um, and all of the prints I had were successful. I did uh, a few Ninja Stars and a few other things, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and show you how reasonable this really is. The machine itself is only $99 from GTEC themselves, so 
that's pretty dang good. And if you wanted to get the combo and get the light box as well, it's only $199, and you can have the whole set be ready to go resin printing right off the bat. So um, I thought it was a really, really fun machine. I'm looking forward to playing around with it some more. And I want to thank my buddy DJ for borrowing me the light box so I could cure up these prints and show them to you. And on that note, guys, that's going to be it. Technivorous out, and we'll see you in the next one.